Hello and uh, welcome to Watchdog Wargaming. Right, so this is part two of my uh, easy build uh, guide to um, making the plastic boats that come out of the Cruel Seas World War II Naval Battle Game by uh, Warlord Games. Um, so today I'll be looking at the, um, the S38 and the S100 um, e-boats uh, that were uh, what were used by the Kriegs Marine during World War II. Um, just to let you know, as I said, it's uh, you can either call them E-boats or S-boats. Um, the E-boats was the Western Allies designation for the fast attack uh, craft. Uh, in German, it means Schnellboot, uh, which is S-boat or fast boat. But um, less of the waffle. So um, let's switch cameras and back on to easy guide of how to... Uh, make the um, the S38 and the S100. Uh, I'll start with the S38, which is the um, earlier um, war type of craft. As with most things, I like to uh, research the subject before uh, I look into it or start building. And uh, this book by uh, Osprey, Osprey uh, publishing the German e-boats 1939 to 1945 has been very, very useful. Um, not only so if I can see where the weapon should be, but also the camouflage schemes of the craft. So to start to make the um, e-boats, what we're going to need is some basic tools for, uh, this is a predominantly aimed at all the new starters that hadn't made models before. Um, so bear with me. So, yep, you're going to need a, a blade of some kind, um, Stanley knife or something like this, some snips, um, plastic uh, glue that's used for um, plastic adhesive. So I use the uh, Tamiya because it's because I can be a bit more accurate with it rather than just using the tube, which uh, unfortunately I'm a little bit messy with. Um, some tweezers, like I explained, I've got a bit of a arthritis in my finger, so I can't grip on to things as much as I would like. So this helps. Um, a file. And uh, and or um, a bit of emery board, or uh, probably your partner or your wife use for their nails. But again, you can get these quite cheap and they're very, very useful for uh, filing down those bit of plastic that uh, uh, won't move. Right, so on to the, and of course, you're going to need your uh, your model. So um, again, these come with the box set and also recently some of the well-known British um, walking magazines have actually had these as freebies. And um, um, so this is the um, uh, the e-boat. And what we're going to do is the uh, the, the earlier version first, which is the, got the raised sort of uh, bridge. So it's going to be um, this one here. This, if you if you look at this one, this is the later S100 that's got the armoured um, uh, bridge. So we'll do that later. So, but we'll do the early one first. Okay. So uh, taking my snips and being quite as uh, careful as possible, we, we want to clip the the hull um, away from the sprue. Just be careful, sort of as much as you can. Uh, I'm quite ham-fisted when it comes to this and sometimes if on here you get some mold lines and everything else if you're not too careful, not mold lines, um, um, features that are for there for you to uh, part the actual model if you're a bit ham-fisted like I am you can't actually you can actually re remove them. So take the knife, be careful if you're doing it towards you. And where possible, try and get these little bits of plastic off. Well, I've got it down a little bit closer to the model. So what I might have to do is go over with the the Embry board, or the file, just to remove it a little bit better. That'll do for, for, for the time being. There we are. So I'll put that to one side. Let's get this back into focus. And now what we're going to need now is uh, is the 
the wheelhouse. Now, like I said, this, this is a sort of quite a tall wheeled house, and it was um, not the armoured version, which came in the later boats. They had the tall bridge, so it was good for visibility, so they could see further uh, and sort of 360 as well. So again, going to need um, your knife just to scrape off some of the bit of plastic that where it's gripped onto the, the sprue. Oops, where have I put that? So I'll just just give that a quick. You can do these a little bit slower and take your time about it. I'm, I am rushing a little bit, so it's uh, just bear with me. So if there's, if it's not as clean as you probably would like, that's because I'm rushing it slightly. So put that to one side. All right, let's get the camera back into focus. So we've got the two bits of um, a bridge here. Just make sure we dry fit them together. See if they fit, they fit together. Okay. So when I'm dry brushing, there's a little uh, dry fitting it. It's a little bit of uh, plastic still there, and I want also I want that to be gone as much as possible because once it's fitted to the the hull, it's going to be a bit of a mare to get rid of. So let's I don't want to take off the detail with the glass that's on there. So trying my best to be careful, but at the same time remove. A bit of plastic, yeah, that'll do. Right, so there's our bits. What I'm going to do now is get the glue out. We'll do one side at a time. Like I said, with this one, it comes with a, a little brush on it, so you can be a little bit more accurate uh, with your gluing. And And then get the other side and then fit that together. Hold it for a bit. What I would say as well with some of these glues as well is just to make sure that you uh, do it if the window, uh, make sure when you're using these glues that you've got um, a through flow air or there's a window open because it does pong a little bit and. Uh, um, Probably might give you a bit of a headache if you're exposed to the uh, the smell of glue for, for some time. Right, so that's got a little bit of a peg at the bottom there, and if you look at our the hull, uh, there's the the, the that um, the hole there, so that, where that peg's going to go. Let's do a, a little bit of a dry fit. Well, to be honest, I think it's going to be once that, that plugs in, it's going to be a tight fit anyway. So okay, so what I'm going to do is put some glue on the bottom of it on the, on the peg so once it's in and pushed all the way through it's going to be there permanently Ta-da! there we are so that's the actual uh, wheelhouse and the raised bridge in place so um on here as well if you have a look you've got the um this is the sort of like the the, the Ford uh, um, the bow gun, which was a, uh, a two. I need to get my uh, head around this. Yes, so this was a two centimeter uh, like machine gun in, in there as well, and then at the back was a two centimeter um, flat gun. Um, it was a, a single, I think it was. And then you had uh, the torpedoes on the side. So usually you only see t um, torpedo either side because what you're assuming is actually there's a torpedo in each of these launches. Um, as you can see, the launches actually goes into the body but comes out out there. So um, there we are. Um, so what we'll do is um, back onto the sprues. Now what you can do is either paint the guns on here um or and the torpedoes and um and or stick them onto the actual main body of the hull and then do them later that's the option i'm going to do so what i need to do is find so 
what let's have a look let's have a look Right, so I'm just debating which gun to use. So I've just had a look at some of the uh, box artwork and what I'm going to use is this is the two, the two centimeter machine gun for the, the bow gun. And then the stern gun is the two centimeter flat gun, which is this one here. So that's the two I'm going to just to cut out now. So again, Just be really, really careful on these because these bits are quite fiddly and you just want to make sure that you do the right cut at the right place. Otherwise, you can either snip the plastic that you're cutting or you can drop it onto the floor. Uh, usually I have uh, Monty, my uh, Sprocker Spaniel, set by my feet, but... Uh, He's uh, snoozing downstairs at the moment, and uh, we have a law, anything that goes on the floor, if I'm not quick enough, right, he'll have it. All right. So let's, uh, let's put in the, the first gun first. So this is going to be the uh, two, uh, two centimeter, two centimeter um, machine gun that goes at the front. Just push that in. I'm just thinking if this thing's riding through the waves, that's going to be a, a really awkward to shoot with if that, that uh, hull's going up and down. And then we put the the rear one in as well. Again, I've just um, bought the actual gun. Just make off, just take off any bit of plastic that uh, doesn't need to be there. Just helps with the helps with the fit. Bit of, bit of glue and and then fit it into the hole if you're careful All right this one's a little bit tight there we are so what I want to do is just quickly straighten that up so it's just make sure it's you know it's up to you whatever you want to do where you want the guns facing left facing right or just straight to straight to stern and that's why that's what I've done so there we are. So the last thing that we've got to do is the t uh, torpedoes. So the torpedoes on this, you've got to assume that there's actually two already in here. And these are the sort of the, um, the racking for the additional, the additional two. So back to your sprue and you've got two sets of uh, torpedoes. So carefully take them off. Okay, let's just have a look to see if there's a, um, no, there's no raised bits on, sorry, there's no, um, there's no sort of plugs or air on here that's, uh, so you're, you have to use specifically to go into to the, um, um, the torpedo racking. So let's just make sure that I've taken everything off that can be, or well, that's been a bit stubborn, so I might have to just gently use the blade yeah that's a little bit better there we are just being avoid a lot of detail then you got the fins of the torpedo so you have to be really really careful and same for this one just to see if it's okay well, yeah, there's a little bit more on there just take that off and give that a file whoops So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue along the top of there. And carefully sit on the, the torpedo on top of it. So I wanted to probably push that a little bit far. So I Let's push it back a little bit. So there we, oh, there we are. In fact, 
I think it wasn't quick enough, so the glue's gone it dried properly. Oh, he didn't put in too, not enough on. So what I'll do is um, put it back on. And then, so, so I'll now put the, the same torpedo on the other side, but and try and match where I've, um, where same place that I've uh, put it on, so it's um, opposite to each other. So they look the same. Now, I have got an option that you can do, and I will show you at the end what you, ca uh, what you can do is a bit of a conversion with these torpedoes, and I'll show you at the, um, at the end of this vid, just before we close it down, let's move everything around. So there we are. So that's the S38 boat um, all together. So the, the guns are in the right place. Guns are in the right place, torpedoes are in, and then that's good to go. So you might just want to quance over it just to check it, see if there's anything else that needs filing down or uh, tweaking before you uh, you spray it or undercoat it for painting. So there we are. So uh, put, put that to one tie side and we'll move on to the next boat. So this is the, um, the um, S100. So this is the S100. This is the later war with the um, um, armoured of wheelhouse now i was reading something about one of these uh they wanted to know that's the british navy wanted to know um how fast these particular uh, boats would go and uh they actually had this elaborate plan put together by um, ian fleming yep the same person who wrote all the james bond books using a uh, captured um a German float plane to pretend that the plane was uh, in trouble and you know they uh, sent out a message out one of the e-boats would come out and uh, you know they would capture it and uh, take it back to UK and they would work out how the speed um, until one uh, young naval officer just said uh, why don't you have a look at uh, the Jane's uh, Naval Ships book for 1938 and lo and behold uh, the maximum speed for one of these was um, actually in that book. Sometimes it's the old, uh, you know, was it keep it simple, stupid, the kiss method every time. So that's so that's the the hull taken off. I'll just use the emery board filed to remove some of the little bit of plastic where it's come off. And there we are. So we've got again. You've got um, on this one. You've got the raised bridge. You've got where the the, the tor torpedo firing mechanism is in, in there. The two. Um, um, this is where the, the storage racks for the torpedoes. And then you've got the, the two centimeter machine gun at the front. Uh, the mid. Um, is it, in this case, sometimes they had a twin two centimeter. Uh, flat gun and then um, on an option you've got is the quad uh, qu uh, quad um, two centimeter um, flat gun on there as well which is what we're going to on, uh, use on here but also as well um, you can convert these to I believe instead of the flak they also use captured bofa guns on here as well but I think there was only a few of the um, S boats actually had that option on there but we'll we'll do what's um, comes out of the can and that will be the um, the guns on, on on the sprue here so we don't have to mess around with the uh, the, the bridge that's already done for us so it, this is pretty plain and simple it's um, onto the guns first so we'll start off with the, the 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 front one which is the the two centimeter machine gun whoops like I said, dodgy fingers, so sometimes I've got to use that um, tweezers. Whoops, doing it the other way around. Well, you can do it either, either way, as long as it's glued in. And then push it in, just make sure it's facing front. There we are. And 
Right, so I know from making previous ones, these ne next bits are a bit fiddly. So uh, bear with me. So if I uh, struggle with one of them, it's yeah, it's it is a bit of a, a bit of a mare. Now, the twin uh, tw a two centimeter gun it comes in two halves. So we have to be really careful on this to take it off because it's quite a delicate and hang on there we are take that one off put that one down because the actual sh um, it's sprue is connected to the, the front shield which hang on there we are hopefully I've taken that off without damaging it let's make sure Get that bit of sprue off. Flatten it down. Make sure I don't break the gun. And there again. And then onto this one as well. Just make sure it's again flat on the bottom. Hold the pieces quite delicately. Yeah, just be careful of that gun. It's I can see it, the barrel of the gun is a bit wibbly wobbly there. So this is where it's um, take your time, don't don't rush these things unless you're me. And then just put the two halves together. Well, okay, so I told you wibbly wobbly fingers not good so let's do it slightly different put them together there we are that's them fitted in so there we are you've got the like I says it's a twin twin links um, two centimeter flat gun and that's the uh, splash plate for it so that fits in um, she knows um, that fits in um, I believe they call it midships so let's put that there there we are that goes in midships there as well. And then finally, we're with the stern. In this case, it's the flat gun. Now, this is one I've definitely had issues with before. And like I said, the instructions didn't come with the the book if they did they weren't I, I didn't have a copy so I've had to uh, try my best and uh, work it out for uh... all right so this is another fiddly bit on there as well so bear with me a second what I might do let's, let's see if I can I'm going to what I might do is snip this out first so it gives me a little bit more space to uh, maneuver. Right, so there we are. So I can do it up to there. And then on that side, there. And that gives me the bit as I want. Okay. <laughs> Right. So if I wasn't rushing with this, if you see on the actual barrel there, there's a little little bit of um, where it's uh, the plastic is sprayed out a little bit. Uh, I've just tidied that up, but uh, I'm just going to rush it a little bit so to get this done for you. So, so this is a quad quad two cents tw centimeters so just thinking that fine power that's a lot of rounds going down the range from one of these s boats now 
So I've had a look at the the flat cannon and I've just realized this. So you've, you've just put the, the top uh, two barrels on. And if you look really, really closely, uh, what they've done with the molding is actually there's three crew that look like they're sat on seats. So this extra bit is actually not for this flat gun because they're actually already there. This is, if you look at, um, just put that down. If you look at this, these these are uh, crew for the um, for the two centimeter gun. So that's an option that you can do is just before you fit that in, you can actually put those in. So it gives you the uh, the, uh, the two crew for that particular gun. Um, but I'm going to put that to one side for the time being because I haven't included on my previous uh, ships. And so I'm just going to uh, uh, not fit that this time. But again, back off to the quad. So the, uh, we've now fitted the quad together. Uh, so you've got the cr uh, crew on there. So um, my little blobs that look like crewmen. So at this point, this the stern gun. And then we'll just fit the quad flak to the stern of the, the ship. And ta-da, so that's the guns fitted. So last thing to do, there we are. So that, there's, uh, that's all the guns fitted. So the last thing we need to do, and there should be the final things on the sprue, are the torpedoes. So let's take the uh, torpedoes off that we did before. Put those to one side. Just quickly go over them with the emery cloth, just remove where they joined on to the, the main sprue. Okay, like I said, there's no tabs on this, so where they fit onto the, the rails, that's where, that's where they're going to go. So get the glue out and just glue the top rail quite gently and then what I'm going to try and do is once that's that's in place and I'm happy with it that's going to push that down and then I'm going to do that on the other side as well and then just match the same distances between the uh, the fittings of the torpedoes. And then when we're happy with that, that's that's good to go. So um, that's the um, the S100 um, now complete. So you've got the guns fitted, torpedoes fitted, and then it's ready for your painting. Let's put everything to one side a second. So this is the um, S38 that we uh, did earlier on, and then the uh, S100. Okay. Now I did say that you, what you can do is just a little bit of conversion with the torpedoes. It's up to you. Just a little minor thing, but it's it just uh, gives you that visual bit looks that one of the torpedoes has been fired and they're just about to reload it. So what I'll do is get you one of the uh, my e-boats, my 100s that I did before. Um, use one I painted up early before and if you can see on here is that um, it looks like that they're moving the torpedo forward and it's now they're now feeding it into the, the the torpedo launcher so all I did was just a little bit of a snip at the top there of the torpedo and then actually put the torpedo nearer to the actual launcher so it just it gives you that um, visual look that okay one's been fired and it looks like they're uh, uh, they're reloading it and um, like I said, these these are there's the quad, there's the two centimeter flak uh, dual duo, and then there's the two centimeter at the front. But um, painting and everything else will go on to next. But uh, just, as long as everybody's up to the happy with how to make them, uh, we're good to go for the uh, the next lot. So um, hopefully you'll join me um, for my next video, which will be on um, putting the um, Elko and the Higgins patrol boats together. So uh, thank you for joining me. 
um, much appreciated and um, hopefully you like what I'm doing if you do just make sure you like subscribe and um, please leave a comment below I love to see what uh, what uh, your comments good and bad and I always do my best to try and uh, reply to them and uh, well okay well thank you very much and uh, I will catch up you again bye for now squad morale restored